we've observed in the past that there has been some type of relationship in previous years between inflation rates and unemployment rates. As unemployment uh, goes way down, more jobs, uh, there's uh, pressure on wages and salaries and so forth. Is there a new paradigm out there as far as uh, evaluating this today, and is it because of the global economy, or what is it? Uh, because we have low unemployment, but we have, at the moment, not a lot of pressure from your testimony and what we observe on uh, inflation. So the, the relationship between slack in the economy or unemployment and um, inflation was a strong one 50 years ago. If you remember that in the 60s, there was a close correlation there. And that, that has gone away, and it's really been But we very, had a different economy then, did we not? Very different economy okay. in so many ways. And, and this, in this way, that really, I would say that period, <clears throat> at least 20 years ago, that period was over, and the relationship between unemployment and inflation became weak. It's become weaker and weaker and weaker. Um, <clears throat> in addition to that, I think we're learning that um, uh, interest rates, uh, you know, that the neutral interest rate is lower than we had thought. And I think we're learning that the natural rate of unemployment is lower than we had thought. So monetary policy hasn't been as accommodative as we had thought. So I think we're learning all of those things. At the end of the day, there has to be a connection because <clears throat> low unemployment will drive wages up and ultimately wage, higher wages will, will drive inflation, but we haven't reached that point. And in any case, the connection between the two is, is quite small these days.